Hey, what's up? It's Tristan. This will be the first video of the GoPro series. So in this first video, I'll cover really quickly what I think are the main advantages and disadvantages of the GoPros on any kind of action cameras in you know 2019. So I've had GoPros probably for a long time. I got my first one in 2011 when GoPro was a really big deal and everyone had one and it was all about making GoPro edits. A lot of stuff has changed since. Uh, so I don't, I mean, I'm just curious, you know, is it, is it still useful to have one of those? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first disadvantage that I see with this, uh, GoPro or oh, any action camera usually is that it's pretty much only good for outside in daylight. If you try to do anything indoors or low light or sunset, it's gonna get to its limit pretty fast. And I know they've worked a lot on it and it's really gotten better over the years, but uh, let's be honest, it's not, uh, it's not you're gonna get really noisy footage and it's not gonna look that great. So keep that in mind. I mean, if you're mostly gonna shoot stuff indoors or with low light situation, an action camera is gonna, it's gonna be limited real fast. Uh, the second biggest disadvantage that I see to those cameras is that pretty much you're limited to the control as far as what's in focus, um, you know, well, you see, you can't really, I mean, you can, they have like possibilities to zoom in on out, but it's not really developed. So pretty much if you're, if you're gonna try and get some cinematic B-roll footage with a GoPro, it's gonna get challenging because everything is gonna be in focus, so you're not gonna be able to play with the depth of field, you're not gonna be able to play with, I don't know, detaching a subject from a foreground or a background. So if you're trying to get cinematic footage uh, with a GoPro, I've tried to do it, and honestly, I, I've never really gotten a great result. Third and last disadvantage that I see is that um, again you know most of the time it's going to be set to a wide angle setting which is great for you know action camera purpose or to really you know get yourself in the shot or get as much of the action when it's mounted on you or something like that but if you're just going to get you know footage of like an event or like your family several people the wide angle effect and the fact that everything is going to be in focus um, it's, it's not going to be really appealing footage because you're not really going to be able to draw the viewer's attention to anything. It's going to be pretty bland, um, almost boring because you just, there's just a bunch of stuff happening and it doesn't really, you know, tell the story or anything. So I would keep that in mind if you're trying to shoot, you know, cinematic B-roll. Uh, the GoPro might be a little limited. So that's about it for the disadvantages. So let's switch to the advantage. The first advantage, obviously, is the size of it. I mean, you can really carry it everywhere with you. It's small, it's durable, it's rugged. You can drop it, you're gonna be fine. Uh, I mean, you see all those great videos online about people doing amazing videos, um, you know, traveling and whatnot, but you have to think that they have to take a lot of equipment with them. And it's a lot of effort. And you know you have to worry about the equipment being broken, getting dirty, getting stolen if you're traveling and you're on the go. If you have a GoPro, I mean honestly, it can be in your pocket all the time, and you don't have to worry about it. So keep that in mind, uh, depending on you know what what's the best trade-off for you. Uh, do you want to worry about expensive equipment, or you just want to be able to just you know not get the best quality, but you don't have to worry about a thing. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. The second main advantage of this camera is obviously the, the ease of use. I mean, you can pretty much, it's ready to go. You just uh, point and shoot. It's, uh, everything is gonna be in focus. So it's, you're not gonna mess anything. I mean, again, you don't have as much control, but most of the time uh, you're gonna be fine. It's gonna do its job and you won't have to worry about it. Once you start it, you just let it roll and it's just doing a thing. The third main advantage is really, I would say the GoPro ecosystem where you have all those mounts. I mean, dozen of mounts where you can put this camera on, you know, any part of your body, any object. And even if that's not enough, I mean, there's people literally building their own mounts to get even crazier, more original footage out there. So really at this point, uh, you know, your imagination is the limit as far as what you can get out of it, or where you can put it, or what kind of footage can you get. So really this thing will get into places where 
uh, big cameras. I mean, would require. I mean, it would require a lot of work and equipment to you know get a similar shot. And you know, at like a consumer level, you, you'll never have the time or be willing to put the effort to get that done. So it's not. It wouldn't be worth it. But with a GoPro, you can easily you know get that result. So I believe that that's a, that's a really that's a really great advantage. That's pretty much it. I think at the end of the day, I still believe I still keep mine, even if it's an Eero phone. I mean, I still love it. It's still a great camera. I really enjoy it, and I still believe that there's value to having one of those. So let me know what you guys think. Again, that's the first video of the GoPro series. There'll be more to come. Uh, next time I'll cover most of the mounts and show you example of footage that I took over all those years with all my different GoPros. And yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Bye.